time, Benton? Seven o'clock, my lord. Excellent. Let us see if that blackguard Hawthorne has the stomach to face me, eh? Yes, my lord. Mm. Your coat, my lord? Thank you, Benton. <coughs> Can you smell it in the air? Hmm? Can you, Benton? No, you can't, can you? You can't smell history. Well, there's many, many years of history here. The disagreements that have been settled on this sacred patch of earth. Centuries of blood and honor run through this soil. Centuries. Heavenly Father, guide my sword and deliver me justice. How do I look, Benton? On fine form, my lord. Yeah. Takes me back to Travancore, you know. Outnumbered and surrounded we were. Bayonets fixed and ready. And the smell of blood and steel. Oh, and the heat, Benton. The ceaseless, never-ending heat. My lord, someone approaches. Oh. The bastard has the nerve to face me after all, eh? <laughs> Who the devil are you, sir? Who am I, sir? I might ask you the same. Where is that coward Townsend? Are you his proxy? <laughs> I knew it. I knew he never had the iron to come and fight me. I beg your pardon, proxy? Who is this Townsend and where the devil is Sir Oliver? I do not know any Sir Oliver, sir. I am Judge Edgar Proust. I'm here to fight that muckraker Townsend who has impugned my honor and reputation. Now listen here, my good man, I don't know who you think you are, but I am Lord Aldsbury, the seventh Earl of Winchester. I am here because I called out Sir Oliver Hawthorne. We are to meet upon this very spot, at this very hour, to fight under the eyes of God. As I am, sir. My lord, someone approaches. Ah, this had better be Townsend. This had better not be, sir. What the devil? You're not Townsend. Well, who the deuce are you supposed to be? I'm Lieutenant Simon Beckett, 71st Highlanders. I was called out over a matter of honour by Captain Harold Gower. We're to meet here at the seventh hour. I will face him and I will skewer his vitals, goddammit. Oh, the devil! Take it! This will not do, sir. I'm very sorry, gentlemen, but you are both going to have to find another spot to die upon. This one is reserved. Reserved? This is not an eating house, sir. That is out of the question, sir. As the challenged party, I chose this ground. This sacred soil of Blood Creek, steeped in the honor and history. Yes, I know. Thank you very much. My lord, someone approaches? Townsend, is that you, you malingerer? Keep your voice down, will you, you insufferable man? Damn your eyes, sir. You do well to hold your tongue. For I take great pleasure in gutting you and your little fart catcher. Is that a threat, you pompous, ill-mannered cur? Cur? How dare you, sir? Fallsbury! What in damnation is going on here? Is this your retinue, sir? Retinue? I wouldn't be caught dead near this perfumed bed presser. I'm here to fight Townsend. Where in God's name is Townsend? I am Proust, you corrupt old prune. Seven o'clock has agreed. You picked a fine time for us to meet, Sir Oliver, you swine. Look at this god-awful mess. Oh, so this is my fault, is it? You frothy old codpiece. Townsend, nice of you to join us, you little gutter snipe. What in the devil's name took you so long? It's a confounded marsh out there, sir. These boots are French leather. They're the devil to keep clean. Oh, right, they are. oh well, forgive me. I thought I had challenged you to a duel, not your wife, sir. So it comes down to this, does it, Aldsbury, after all these years? What gives you the impudence to challenge me, sir, to soil my reputation? It was I who introduced you to your wife, for Peter's sake! Some would say that was reason enough, sir. Oh, for God's sake! My lord, if someone approaches. Yes, Benton, I can see for myself. Good morning, gentlemen. Have you come to watch our duel? Come to watch your duel? Yes, our duel, sir. Pistols at dawn over a matter of business to settle our little quarrel once and for all. Mr. Elliot, if you will, sir. Gentlemen, please take your firearms. As agreed, ten paces, gentlemen. 
Then turn and fire on my boss. Excuse me, gentlemen. There is a queue, you know. There you are, you bastard! So this is where you choose to die, Beckett. Hold hand, Captain. We are in the middle of something here. I ask that you stand aside, sir. I demand satisfaction immediately from this sanctimonious blunter. Well, as do I you know before I'm me. Absolutely no sense of humor, sir. Order! Death. Order! Gentlemen, this gathering is highly illegal. So I suggest we make haste and come to some accord. Well, naturally, as I'm the seventh earl, I take precedence, and so I shall go first. Hogwash to that, sir. This libelous gagger sullied my good name in the times. I only called you the ponce of the old bailey. <laughs> I thought it rather amusing. It was not, sir. It was an insult, sir. And no apology followed. A correspondent never apologises for his words, sir. Mr Mason here committed forgery over a matter of business, sir. He has been stealing from me, sir. I never took so much as a penny, sir. But since I cannot prove it with a ledger, I will prove it today with a bullet. Well, I saw Hawthorne here palming aces while he cut for the bank. Charlatan, I say. And so I called you out for the outright cheat that you are for. Is there anything more treacherous? My lord is bitter because he lost his prize Arabian oh. stallion to me last year in a wager. He has been seeking retribution ever since and has conjured... Oh, you're you're right. Right. Oh, God. God. He fucked my wife! While I was on active service in Spain, serving our glorious king and country, watching my men die by inches, he was safe and cosy at horse guard, plowing my wife! Is this true, sir? Yes, it's true, sir. I love her. And I only intended to rescue her from an adulterous bully of a husband. A gambler. A vagabond who strikes women. You are nothing better than the filth on my boots, sir! I'm going to peel that skin from your face. Give it to me! Oh. Terribly sorry, old boy. It was an accident. You've got some nerve, you little pimp. Strike me down, will you? I was only... I've no quarrel with you, sir. Well, I'll teach you some manners. I was only... Uh... Back! Stay back or I'll fire! You don't have the balls! Mr. Elliot, you sent me into a duel with an unarmed pistol, sir! M Mr. Mason made me do it. I didn't make you, I paid you, goddamn! For the wretched, cowardly tricks. I'm going to kill both of you. I think not, sir. You have elected to fire your shot. Please allow me the same courtesy. You wouldn't dare. Wouldn't I? Before I end you, I want you to know. It was me that filched that money. Had a debt to pay, old boy. Thief! I knew it was you, you son of a... Shit! He paid you too! Of all the corrupt... Two times! Bickett! Well, what are we waiting for, sir? Just like travel for, eh? On guard!
back, never. I want it fair and square. Oh. Stay out of my line, sir. You stay out of my line, you punts of the old Bailey. How dare you? <laughs> Yes, we just finished. Yeah, it was all right. 